Welcome to our Mod Podge Live Craft. Uh, my name is Carolina, and this is Angie. And we are live crafting with Mod Podge today. Angie and I do craft lightning, which are really fast crafts. Generally, we do them within 15 minutes, but today we're going to do crafts that will take us 10 minutes or less. So we're glad you're able to join us. Angie, do you have anything you want to add? Sure, and um, this proves that even if you think you don't have time to craft, that you actually do because you can do all of these projects in 10 minutes. So today I'm going to make uh, napkin rings and I'm going to use a paper towel roll to make them in 10 minutes and we'll see how many I can get done. And Carolina, what are you going to do? I'm going to make little ornaments similar to this out of... Um, uh, recycled or repurposed poker chips. Um, I got some poker chips at a, an event that I went to and they have these little stickers on them. I'm just going to peel off the stickers, Mod Podge my own little saying. Um, use a little bit of power tools to drill in there because even if you're doing fast crafting you can still use fun power tools and we'll get, see how many that I can get done in our little 10 minutes here. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I just have a little craft knife, and these um, promotional poker chips, they have just stickers. So I'm just going in and I'm peeling off the sticker, because I can just poke into there with a little craft knife. And that gets my little stickers off really quick and easy, um, and gives me a nice clean surface to put my Mod Podge um, embellishment on instead. What are you working on, Angie? I cut some scrapbook paper to two inch strips and then I took my toilet paper roll and also cut it to around two inches and now I'm taking Mod Podge and a brush and just putting it on the toilet paper roll and then I have a secret for holding all this together while it dries really fast. I actually use clothespins and just hold the scrapbook paper on to the toilet paper roll. And roll it up. And next I will actually be using a Martha Stewart paper punch um, to cut an embellishment to go around this. And I'll be using Mod Podge to glue that on as well. So once I have once I have the stickers peeled off of my poker chip, I can take my power tool and I'm actually putting a little piece of cardboard underneath so that when I drill in, I won't actually drill into my table. And with a little luck and a little movement, you can see. And I have a quick little hole in my nice sturdy clay poker chip. So what kind of Mod Podge are you using, Angie? I've got Mod Podge Matt here today. I'm actually using the gloss version just to give it a glossy coat. And while you were doing that, I did use my paper punch and I, it was really loud so I put you on mute for a minute. <laughs> And now I'm going to cut that to length real quick. And if you don't have a paper punch, you can actually buy um, scrapbooking embellishments at the craft store or a variety of places and use those instead. So I actually used a little paper punch. This is actually just a little um, 
scallop punch. These are actually from EK Success. And I punched out little scallops that I'm then Mod Podging onto my uh, ornament, um, my poker flip. And it's important to have the scallop be a little smaller um, than the space because I've got my hole that I already drilled in there. Um, you can always drill your hole after, but because we're getting these crafts done in 10 minutes or less, I actually did my um, hole first, so that way it'll be done right away. I don't have to wait for it to dry for me to drill my hole later and come back and do it when it's done. It's done. And then because of the size of the drill bit hole that I cut, I'm using a really thin ribbon here to thread my um, hole. This is actually an eighth of an inch, and I just cut off a little section of it, and I can thread it right in my hole. And In just a couple minutes, I've already got my first ornament. Already finished. How are you doing, Angie? I have my first napkin ring already done. And it, I actually put a protective coat of Mod Patch all around it since you'll be using this, you know, around food and that type of thing. And so it's done and drying. And I can put it on a napkin here in just a second and show you. And now I'm going to use my paper punch again. And if you want to see that, it's just a Martha Stewart punch. And you just be sure to line up after you punch one area. Just be sure to line it up on this surface right here to punch again. So you can punch a strip. And then more gloss mod podge. So put that punch paper strip right on here. And this will be number two for me. And again, I use my clothespins to hold everything while it dries for just a few minutes. Oh, that's so smart, using the clothespins to hold everything. <laughs> I think on my end, my drill bit is just about given up, or my drill is just about given up. It needs to be charged again. Another fun thing once the Mod Podge is dried, is to use some um, Dimensional Magic, and Dimensional Magic comes in um, just regular Dimensional Magic, but also comes in a fun glitter Dimensional Magic, and that can get put on top of the ornament just to add a little bit of fun and sparkle. So we're going to do that with this. And um, Angie and I, when we do our quick craft lightning, we don't count dry time. So for me, I like having the entire project done. Um, before I leave, but then I can walk away when I come back, it'll be all dry and completely finished project. So because this dimensional magic does take a little longer to dry, um, I'll actually just put the dimensional magic on the side. 
And I am using a paper cutter to cut my paper into strips. It makes it a lot faster than a pair of scissors and a lot more accurate. I love my paper cutter. I actually have one from American Crafts and it has different blades and it's amazing. Best 20 or $30 you could spend. So it has a different... Um not just a straight blade, but blades that make different cuts as well? Yes. Yeah, it's um, actually interchangeable. The blades are just here, and you can change them out. This is a straight blade, and this is a swivel blade. Awesome. Okay. So I think this is going to be my last one. I'm just putting the Mod Podge on the second side. Hoping to get four in ten minutes, but it looks like it will be three. <laughs> I got a little hand. But still, ten minutes well spent to make napkin rings for your Thanksgiving dinner. Absolutely. I can actually just almost hang that right there, so you can see. Are you hearing my son in the background? Yes, it sounds like he's having fun. <laughs> he was promised ice cream he was quiet. He'll probably get ice cream anyway. He was quiet enough. Good enough, yes. Especially when you're four. <laughs> quiet for 10 minutes, 15 minutes is very, very hard when you're four. <laughs> and I have one that is actually dried enough to do this with in 10 minutes. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad we were able to craft together today, Angie. For those of you who um, we're watching today. I hope you'll go visit Angie at thecountrychickcottage.net and me over at 30minutecrafts.com. Bye, everyone. Bye.